Morning, everybody. Okay, so this morning we are going to talk about how your children are your karma. Now, the last time I brought this topic up, I got a lot of negative comments because um, I think what's happening is there's a misunderstanding of karma. So if you're fearful of karma and you think that karma is everything negative, then you really have to check your ego and you have to check your mind because I can guarantee you, you're a little bit more fear, mind, ego than love and light, okay? So these are the, these are the little things that we always have to be aware of where our brain goes and what our triggers are when we read something or we, um, run into certain people and they say something to you like what are your triggers so it took me a year I did this vlog on car your kids are karma about a year ago so it took me a year to make another one and I've been guided to do another one for a very long time but I had been resistant and I think it's I think this is why so really Let's talk about karma. Karma is basically whatever you react to. Yeah, you come with like past karma from past lifetimes, but this karma is nor good or bad. You have to understand the karma that you create in this world is what you do in the moment. How you respond to what happens to you in the moment is your karma. So I just, really wanted to clarify that. I think there's a huge misunderstanding and this fear that we have of karma, like, oh, karma's gonna come and bite you in the ass. This fear has to really be released. It has to let go because karma can, when you allow it, I am proof of it, karma can work for, for you in wonders. Like when you start doing little things like picking up garbage from the beach or if you're going for a walk, you just pick up garbage, it's not yours. You don't even see anything as yours or his or whomever's anymore. You just do it because it's harming the environment or harming something. That is, that releases karma just like that. So another thing I wanna say to you really quick in this vlog is that if you have fear and you feel like you have so much negative karma or other people have so much negative karma. So let me tell you one thing. The ego is very, 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 very strong. It definitely is. And the ego has a lot of pull because it sits in your subconscious mind for so many years. We're programmed. We're basically robots of our ego until you start killing it with awareness. That's the sun in this whole whole picture in this film the sun destroys the ego it's which is really funny because the sun is actually a representation of the ego which is crazy so it actually has to destroy itself almost and fall into itself because it's so smart and I can say how smart the ego is and how cunning and deceiving the ego is, but you won't understand it until you experience it. So the ego in its world is king. And every time you feed this king with fear, with guilt, with shame, all with anger's ego, but anger's kind of borderline to me, moving into self-love. So every time you feed this ego, it it, it like flocks and it feels like a peacock in its fullest moment, okay? So the ego is very strong, but I'll tell you the other thing, love and light, your heart chakra, all of your chakras, your soul is like the solar system, like a, the sun can burn its own ego, the its own reflection within two seconds. So I want you to remember that love and light is a billion times stronger than this little tiny ego. And this love and light is all your, your awareness, your conscien consciousness, how much you follow your intuition. This is all love and light. This is all the love and light that you have, okay? So now how does that relate to children? Children are your karma. Why are children your karma? 
the, so your children are your number one way to release karma and to create more positive karma on this earth. When your children are, when their actions are more from love and they have an understanding of mother nature, a respect for the solar, a respect for the stars, when they have kindness towards others, you get that karma back. You get that karma right back. If your child steals or teenager, whatever, and they start, they bully other kids. They start going down the rabbit hole of what's not so nice, what's more ego and hate. This is also your karma. But here's the thing, as a parent, because now you have to deal with this. You have to deal with the school system. You have to deal with the counselors. The kids aren't going to have to really deal with it as much as you are going to worry. And see how the reflection comes back on you? This is how it's your karma. Now, two things can happen here. There's going to be one parent that feeds the bully and says, oh, that's okay. You did that because you were protecting yourself. Oh, there's a parent who's going to start listening to this 16, 17, 15, 14, 13, 12 year old, maybe even nine, who knows. And then there's the parent that's going to back off and be like, why did you find it necessary to treat another human being like that? You need to explain this to me. What happened? Then there's that parent who is going to bring out the truth from this child and the truth just may be, well, I saw dad doing that to you and he got his way, so why can't I do that to other people? Or I saw mom doing that to dad, like, so why can't I display that behavior out in society? You did it. So if you come to the core of why the child is doing it and you begin to change your own dynamic in relationships because it doesn't feel good when your child is starting to display your own behaviors and you begin to change the pattern because you obviously, one of the parents, the, the, the behaviors that parents display are usually displayed by their parents, right? There's always this golden thread of yuck. Uh, that's connected onto our subconscious mind from your mom's subconscious mind to yours from your dad's to yours and theirs is connected to theirs so this is the ancestral line that's how it works so uh, visualize these like threads that are coming out of our subconscious mind and these are connected to our parents and theirs are connected to their parents and theirs are connected to their parents so what you're doing when you introduce light and love to your child and not more hate you're burning that thread off. It's like little, it, it unthreads little with little pulses of electricity. And this electricity is coming from your heart chakra, from all of your chakras actually. And it unthreads a little bit when you've taught your child a bit of a lesson of light and love and you cannot display, you cannot treat human beings like this. That's not, no, you're better than that. We don't do that in this home. That becomes your karma. You see, this is how your children are your karma. And when you raise children that release as adults love and light to the rest of the world, and they have to give that love and light to them first. Children that respect themselves, not with ego, okay, I'm not talking ego right now, Children that respect themselves from, the, from a kindness that is very neutral and balanced, it's not too much ego, it's not too much like, um, it's, it's not overly compassionate either. Like when you have super balanced children that are light and love, that is going to come back to you too. My child, it was fucking so hard to raise him as a single mom and it was so hard i'll tell you school systems are hard man those kids are hard and parents can be fucking assholes but dealing with parents like and they're just so bullheaded and but but treating them because my son's there treating these people whom you just literally want to smack but treating them with respect and having your own boundaries at the same time, 
showing your own power and that you're not going to put up with shit was hard. I'm not going to lie. It was hard. But over time, light and love always destroy ego. Always. I have built up or had built up a reputation within like within this community within even while my child was growing up the parents not as a push out over extremely strong somewhat opinionated but i always went to my tunes and i just didn't i just turned around from the when i saw ego i just nodded said okay turn around and walked away you know it wasn't always easy it's always a harder path to follow love and light, but when you do, the outcome is great. My child now meditates, respects me. He knows his boundaries. Like I am now reaping my karma and the benefits of how I didn't fall into ego with something as simple as other parents or hockey or the school system. I refuse to. Thank you guys. I hope that helps a little bit. Love you guys. If you have any um, comments of love and light and kids and how you dealt with ego, whether it was in school systems or whatever, comment below. Love you guys.